Hi, uh, welcome again to uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, today we're going to talk um, some more about the about the Irix lens. Uh, now I've done a few few films about this uh, this uh, this new lens. It's pretty good quality, and uh, it's 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 caused quite a lot of excitement in the in the photography world. 15mm f2.4, and it, it does have quite a large got a large front element. Now this takes a, um, a 95mm thread filter. Um, now some of these 95mm uh, filters can be eye-wateringly expensive uh, when you look, look for them. Uh, uh, and if you if you're interested in using this lens for uh, for video work, and believe me, it is brilliant for video work, or looking to do do time exposures, uh, you'll be wanting to use uh, neutral density filters. Now, uh, yeah, looking at um, the price of uh, of ninety five millimeter neutral density filters is uh, it's quite a shock. Uh, you're looking at paying you know um, up to hundred pounds, hundred dollars for for a filter. Uh, and not only that, I have yet to see uh, any 95mm uh, filters, uh, neutral density filters, um, that are a, a slim line. Because in fact most of the 95mm filters uh, produced are intended to be used on the, um, the Tamron uh, and, and Sigma um, super zooms. You know, the, the, the um, you know, uh, 200 to 600 or whatever they are. Uh, super zooms for wildlife photography and, and, uh, and vignetting from a, a filter isn't really a problem when using uh, a telephoto lens. However, with an ultra wide angle like this, uh, if you use a, a filter with a, um, with a thick rim, uh, you will see it. Um, you know, I've managed to get a, um, a, a, a low profile slimline uh, UV uh, filter for this, um, but as I said, I've yet to see uh, any, any low profile slimline. Uh, ND filters. However, the manufacturers of the RX lens uh, have anticipated that there may be some problems and have provided uh, at the rear of the um, of the lens a, um, a filter slot. Now uh, those of you who have used uh, lenses in the past such as the, uh, the Sigma um, fisheye lens uh, 16 mm fisheye will be familiar with uh, with, with this because you know some lenses because of the uh, protruding front elements you cannot put a filter on them um, and uh, th this gives you a chance to put a filter at the back uh, uh, of the lens. Uh, now the dimensions for the the filter here um, are 30 uh, 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters. For a, for a lens like this with a um, a filter slot at the back. Uh, you would use a a, a gel uh, filter or polyester filter. In the past, I've bought um, um, uh, uh, pieces of Lee filter. You can usually get to uh, one fifty square uh, gel filter for for things like um, uh, infrared filters and that. But I've, I've not actually managed to find uh, any uh, neutral density gel filters online. But however, uh, what I did come up with was some um, polyester film filters. Uh, they're used uh, in the theatre uh, for uh, theatre lights uh, and I've got three different densities. Uh, I've got uh, the first one is a, a, a 0.3 neutral density, second one is 0.6 and the third one is 0.9. Right, I've done some um, research online uh, to try and uh, convert the um, uh, the neutral density factors that, uh, that are used to describe these into, into f-stops as we know them. So. Uh, the first one is a 0.3 neutral density, and that's one stop. The second one is 0.6 neutral density, it's two stops. And the third one is 0.9 neutral density, and that is three stops of light. Obviously, you could put two layers of this in and get get six stops, uh, which might be more useful for doing um, uh, long exposures. Uh, but certainly, these three densities are handy for, for video work where you're looking just to knock one or two stops of, uh, of light off so that you can uh, get the required um, depth of field uh, with a lens. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to cut a piece of, uh, of the gel filter, the polyester film filter, and actually fit it to the lens. 
Uh, I've got my little roller, that's a, the shortest one I could find actually, and it's a 60 centimetre roller. Right. So I'm find a piece of this that isn't scratched, that's an intro with polyester filter, it does scratch easily. Right. And cut these three together hopefully. No, that's not. I'll just start off with a oh, I'm gonna start off with the uh, the point nine neutral density. Uh, if I measure thirty millimeters there and make a cut. Alright, so I'm going to then cut this parallel to the edge and cut a 30mm strip. Get it out of the way. Alright, so we've now got a 30mm wide strip. I'm going to cut a piece of approximately 30 just hit it like that so right, right it gives it a little square of filter so to fit this to the lens if you look carefully there's a the filter slot there you just show for the edges of that little bit in the back Right, that fits in, fits in nicely. And you'll be able to see the, the gel filter fitted nicely into the rear element. Well, now we'll go out and try it. Uh, I've shot a couple of bits of video here um, with uh, one layer of the um, 0.9 filter. Uh, these I was able to shoot um, wide open uh, in bright sunlight at 100 ASA. Uh, in addition, I also tried putting two layers of um, the 0.9 to give us six stops uh, on some stills here. That was uh, 30 seconds, this one was uh, about four seconds, uh, and this one here was uh, about four seconds. Um, ideal really, unless you want to um, uh, use a graduated filter. Um, I hope that's been useful for you, and uh, look out for my next film, uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Okay, bye.